two different paladins. One of us could be really righteous and one of us could be oh, breaking the shit out of things, right? Yeah, exactly. Whole playthrough, you will just try to make my life a living hell. We could play as different oaths. We could compete who's gonna break his oath first. I'm super behind the idea that one of us is goody two-shoes paladin and one of us is the bad evil oath breaker paladin, right? Uh -huh. So look in the wrong way. Someone disrespects me. I have no issues throwing a kid down a lake or something. So yin and yang sort of thing? Yeah. So I'm gonna be... I just oh, love orcs. <laughs> paladin orc sounds really silly to me. It feels like it shouldn't be a thing. Yeah. A righteous orc who's really dumb. That makes sense because you know like the dumber guys have kind hearts, right? Oh, yeah. yeah like, like they're that. sweet and pure. That's why I'm a dumb orc. Oh my god. It just all clicked. So you found yourself an excuse to play the orc. <laughs> excuse? Okay, bro. Okay. <laughs> Don't expose me like that. I'm going for an oath of vengeance. Feels like the most evil choice. self preservant arrogance, just words that come to mind when I think about someone who is not bound to righteousness following their own kind of law. Is it like an ends justify the means concept? That's actually a pretty good phrase to pinpoint my conviction down. So you're basically Hitler or Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> you're basically a dictator. <laughs> I mean, there are five steps in between Hitler and my current alignment. But yeah, if you want to put it like that, I'm Hitler. I mean, you're German. Can adds up. Oh, well, didn't we say we like monetization? Are we going to stop with the racist jokes? <laughs> What would be good for me? Out of the Ancient sounds very righteous to me. Subclass feature. It will tell you how your character needs to behave to avoid being an oathbreaker. Acts of kindness does sound like it really fits my description of my dumb softy. Where love blooms, stand against Deverly. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of perfect so far. The light in culture and small joys. Well, small joys make sense. Culture is kind of a stretch because appreciation of culture is hard when you're a dumbass. <laughs> but that does sound like it's the most fitting thing. Courage for a dummy as well. Is it stupid? your courage you know that phrase yeah it's a fine line to thread both of them i'm going to be a male orc because i'm a male and i'm a basic bitch god i'm just gonna end up making unge again i like bold sexy orcs what i tried to hint earlier you just always gravitate to half orcs because you identify yourself with them in a way which is fine and it's kind of nice it's kind of my real life persona isn't it yeah it is it truly is background none of these really scream like high and tart you could be a folk hero or you just choose accordingly to the skills you want at the bottom that's so nerdy Righteousness probably means that I smite the bad, right? So being strong would be important. Maybe you also avoid conflict with persuading people. If two people are about to fight and I'm like, we can resolve this without fighting. But if somebody did something messed up, I feel like I have to smite them. He's just a bit annoyed and I'm like, he should be smitten. You're no pacifist. No way. I have to be strong, but also good with words. Strong, but soft. I'm a double-edged sword, baby. I either use the sharp end or the soft end. Both ends are dull. Would you mind me playing a draw? Why would I mind that? Because they are considered very evil, and that might lead to some evil choices. But what do you mean? Like, the whole point is that you're the evil one, and I'm the good one, and you're like, oh, this might lead to some evil choices. I mean, I'll smite you on the spot when I see you doing evil. Are we gonna PvP? Maybe. Oh, damn. It's kind of fun how it immediately lets me pick a cult when I pick a draw. Who are you gonna pray? Is shark? No, actually Lolf. <laughs> it's some weird spider, I think. On a paladin, you want to have charisma and you want to have strength. Charisma would be good for avoiding conflict, so I think I'm gonna go with that. It's also good for starting a fight if you would fail your intimidation or someone feels threatened enough. Don't put everything into shredded charisma. <laughs> Important choices. Say A, B or C. A? Vulva A it is. I can't believe I... Yeah, he chose my vulva. I, I can't believe I was here for such an important moment in your life. <laughs> Should I put a few points in the dexterity, do you think? It's just good for thieving. Thieving? Who do you think I am? I am righteous. <laughs> I will make Papa Orc proud. Man, I'm so sidetracked. I haven't made any progress in my character creation. Give me one second, please. Should I roleplay as a toxic feminist? It's kind of fitting the whole draw concept because they are led by females, according to lore. You're just looking for an excuse to be misogynistic as well at this point. <laughs> well, it's not misogyny if I direct it at males. Oh, so you're just going to be sexist in general. I yeah. like that. Actually, I don't even know the term for for sexism directed at males. Male, male on it, male, male on all male on all on I, <laughs> Fuck, I can't <laughs> speak. So, something broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm a dumb orc. I do not know complicated words like that. I'm gonna look sweet. Oh my god. One of the presets is literally just like a handsome orc and it's so cursed. <laughs> you look like Granny pinched your cheeks too much and you're like, oh, go, go, Granny, stop it. And she keeps pinching it. You're going, oh no, Granny, please stop it. Not in front of the boys. <laughs> you're all blushed up. No scars. Zero maturity. Freckles for cuteness. You already are very cute. You think a kind dude needs a big penis? I feel like he will just raise everybody up with his kindness, you know? Big heart, small dick. I mean, you can't leave the ladies disappointed. It's really hard to get women as an 
nice guy as it is, so at least have something to unpackage. Yeah, but I prefer having a Volvo for censorship. <laughs> God, I'm kind of looking like a handsome version of Shrek now. I don't know if I like that or not. Couldn't have described it better. That's brilliant. <laughs> something about your face is so kind and so loyal, but at the same time so off-putting that I wouldn't like to hold a conversation with you. I am after all going for hair because I found the hair that makes me look like the goodest of boys. <laughs> Bro. I live with my grandmother. You remind me about one of those fuck boys. Okay, I can't give myself facial hair because it instantly removes the baby face cute factor. You should definitely not wear any facial hair at all. Even down there, zero pubes. Zero. <laughs> Grandma said whenever I'm gonna meet a girl, I need to be prepared. I'm like an apple, but all the skin is peeled. <laughs> uh, that sounds horrible. Yeah, that's scary. That sounds really scary. <laughs> I didn't think that went true. I'm looking a little bit too nice for my taste. Make yourself evil. Give yourself like eyeshadow. Make yourself like edgy. I don't want to be looking like I just came from a My Chemical Romance concert. I want to be looking evil. Come on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I know this is like Big Cope because I'm naming myself Unge again. Unge is my actual name in a real D&D campaign. And I always end up going with an orc that's named Unge. Your creativity is boundless. <laughs> I just feel like it fits the vibe though. Like I'm a kind-hearted, silly dumbass, you know? And Unge is like perfect for that. Yeah, and I'm going to explain the shit out of you. I'm into it, daddy. <laughs> I'm not your daddy. I mean, I could be. I haven't set my choice of genitals yet. <laughs> it's all up to me, eh? The whole reason I went into adventuring was because I was a single mom and I was overwhelmed with my kids, so I left them at home. The crucial moment, the point of no re I'm sorry, can you repeat that? What? Can you repeat that? What? Like, I was talking for about 20 seconds. <laughs> Just repeat the whole thing. Oh my god. I don't think I can. She still looks too nice, right? She looks like a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah, exactly. I was going to make a really poor Post Malone joke. That's a great idea for a stupid Bart, man. Just gonna be a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. We should do that one day. We're gonna call ourselves Future and Past Malone. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in the next video. Stay tuned. <laughs> I wanted to go for Bulky Mama. Bulky Mama kind of hot, though. Yeah, you prefer Bulky Mama? Do what you want. I don't think it will make a big difference. Big boops, you know, because I'm bulky. That was so weak, bro. I know, man. I haven't had much sleep. Do you want to see my genitals? Is that your icebreaker? <laughs> you want to see my genitals? So there are two kinds of draws. One of those kinds are like really, really sexist towards men. The whole society is female dominated and males are basically enjoying the status of slaves. They're used for breeding purposes. And then there's more sophisticated kind of draws. How do you become sexist towards a man though? I feel like it's impossible. What are you going to do? Just tell them you're not going to make sandwiches anymore? Yeah, first you stop doing sandwiches, <laughs> then you overstep your boundaries and just walk out of the kitchen whenever you feel like. And eventually you're going to raise your children the way you want to. Bro, 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 no, no, no. What you do is you glue the toilet seat to the toilet. Oh my god. So they can't lift it up. That's super toxic. I'd be a great woman. <laughs> You'd be a fabulous woman, yeah. I already have the boobs because I'm fat, so I'm kind of halfway there. Are you though? But you have the soul to compensate. Yeah, bro moment. What are you, bro love. What are you trying to say? I fucking love you, man. It's kind of gay, bro. It's super gay, man. It's okay, we have our socks on. <laughs> so, so, I'm, so I'm gonna okay. tell you, whatever happens, I will not be the one saying no homo. Maybe I should age her a little bit more. Oh, this did absolutely nothing. The forehead, it wrinkles. Yeah, but it's gonna happen natural because I'm playing with you. <laughs> what are you trying to say? The audience understands. That's why your hair is great. It's because you stress out from being around me. Basically, I'm your lost mother and I'm trying to raise you right, but you just can't stop being good. That's so you're my evil mother. You're my adoptive son and I try to teach you draw society, but you just keep failing. Mom, I saved this child. Kill him! Kill him right now! I should get him! His purse! Why has he still his shoes on? You're a disgrace. <laughs> Oops. It's like you did a Hulk transformation. Your body just tripled inside. <laughs> Oops. Drow smash. Come on, don't be so mean. I think my tattoo is gonna have a huge impact on my playstyle, so I want to pick the right one. You're telling me that you care about your appearance that much? Like, roleplay is all your imagination. It's on your head. But I can feel the character when I identify with them. If you want to feel the character, just feel that ass, bro. You want to see it again? Maybe a quickie. Just a quick peek, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? This one is for free. The next time I'm gonna okay, charge okay, you. Okay, 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 go. Oh my god. Can you leave the room for like five minutes? Oh no, my finger slipped. <laughs> oh no. This is so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm allowed to show that ass. It's so defined. Where's the hairstyle I wanted? Hair. Okay, it's in the middle and it's called duster. <laughs> oh my god, this is so misogynistic. 
Is it? Like woman cleaning dust hairstyle. I'm I sorry. think you're making it's connections just, that are not there, bro. The, yeah, I need to be treated. I'm mentally ill. You need to get lobotomized. I think so too. She's hot and evil. She, she doesn't look evil. She's like, you know, you want to summon a demon and then this cute demon girl comes around and she tries to be mean, but you don't take her serious. And then there's her. She looks like she's going to bite my toes off and she offers me to suck them. That's the whole point. You're hot. So you're going to like seduce people and then mess them up because you're evil. They'll fall for your charm. Okay. You're like a succubus. Emphasis on the suck. What did you name yourself? That's an interesting question. Do you have a suggestion? You can just call yourself mom because you're my mother. Yeah, let's go with mom. Oh God, no. <laughs> Is that what you're going with? Yeah. Since I'm kind-hearted and silly, I like small things. Small things are cute. So I picked myself a short, cute girl. She's adorable. She actually is something worth protecting, even though she's going to be protecting you, as the name Guardian implies. Are you actually going to be my mom or were you kidding? <laughs> I can be your mom. I kind of find the idea pretty funny. Okay, so your vow is to like always be good to your kid, but your perception of good is very twisted because you're evil. So you're trying to like teach me how to live life, but it's like fucked up. I'm trying to raise you right according to draw society rules and if you disobey i have to whack you with a stick or something and i decided to be a righteous paladin to oppose you all of vengeance paladins abide by the following tenets fight the greater Bonk. son pray that i don't have enough strength to throw you right into the fire pits how do i pray how do i pray slash pray <laughs> you should get down on your knees inquisition's might brilliant <laughs> mom can't hit oh, mom can't hit mom is bad mom is not a gamer haha <laughs> idiot stop running you, you filthy brat throwing my chunkla you're like the mom that just starts throwing plates at me when i misbehave <laughs> you're embarrassing me at the whole culture wait you can just throw your oat away oh this is my oh no 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 did you see the way it had like an evil glow around? That's kind of sus. I didn't realize that's my oath. Goes into inventory, oath breaker acquired. Damn. My oath is like color coded. Let's be real. It's probably a picture book and there aren't any letters inside. Well, there's drawings that are filled with crayons. <laughs> I lost the book a long time ago and I made my own version with crayons. I the crayons, but there are just a few in the package left. Son, let me check your lips. Do you know how you go after your Labrador when he has something in his mouth and doesn't want to give it? I'm feeling a similar vibe. You never make dinner for me. My mom never cooked for me. My father never cooked for me. You can be happy that you are alive. Two of your brothers has been thrown into the wolf pit just before you were born. You just had promising thighs. You look like you have a healthy back. Act accordingly. I miss Tommy. Listen, 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 listen. Mom, inappropriate. Gosh. This is super inappropriate. I gotta be an adult, right? I feel like a child because I'm dumb, right? You have the mind of a child, yes. I just picked you up in the nursery. I just adopted you. And when you picked me up in the nursery, you also dropped me on the floor by accident, which is how I became dumb. It was pretty hard to pick you up in the first place. I think I've ruined one of my vertebrae. I am Lechonky boy. I'm doing a bad decision. <laughs> yep. Looks like you instantly got karma, though. Mom, you were gonna leave me? I'm gonna leave you on the hotel floor, pick up my baggage, and then leave. Son, come over here. I will teach you something about interacting with other species. Species? Watch closely. Why do you have your weapon? <laughs> no! Bro, stop! No! Wait, I've shoved the corpse. No, I misclick. <laughs> Mom! How dare you acting up? How dare you acting up? I just love the idea of like you doing something bad in public and I just literally fucking yeet you across the hall, being like, Mom! <laughs> Mom, no! One damage, lol, noob. Why do I take two? Because you're inferior to your mother. I think that we should take companions with us. Let's say I take the ones that are considered evil and you take the righteous ones. That would be befitting of our path. Oh my god, the claws are... <laughs> you look like a green god missing the nose. They ran out of clay. <laughs> clay? You've not been sculpted with clay. What have I been sculpted with? With the remains of Shrek's swamp. <laughs> Hey, my head is not the only thing troubling right now. Oh my Why did I tell that to my mother? <laughs> we have to work on our incestuous relationship, please. I would consider incest evil to some extent. I'm not sure if it has an alignment. It's just something really wretched to do. Oh my god, look at me. Look at the way my hair fizzles. My hair looks alive. Oh my god, it does. It looks like a nest of maggots. Yeah, kind of creepy, but also my face is so handsome. Disgusting. What happened to your rosy cheeks? It was actually a pink crayon and just wore off. <laughs> Mom, can I be geek? Mom, can I be geek? No, Unga, you cannot be geek, please. Get back in the closet, please. No, stop bothering the nice lady. But she's gonna help us. She's a useful companion that will guide us to victory. Ah, <sighs> fine. If you want to recruit her, you can do it. But remember, you have not hit puberty yet. That means no... How did you call it last time? No bigger bop. No hack boom, boom. No boo boo. Lysel, I'm gonna make you Basil real soon. Just call her Basil? Like Bay. Oh my god. She's my Bay. No, shut up. I feel physical pain. I shall smite these the creatures. They shall perish. All that will be left is ash. Lysel is 
kind of good, right? She's a warrior. Self-preservant. Doesn't like outsiders. Uh, respects warriors. So she'd probably get along with me. She probably gets along with me too. Uh, she wouldn't like it if you were to spare people. But I'll spare good people, right? People that deserve it. You've never seen the interrogation scene in the Druid's Grove. She is really evil. She's evil? She's evil? Lizelle is evil? She doesn't consider herself evil, but from our moral standpoint, I would say she's quite evil. Be gone, evil tot. <laughs> God damn it, it failed. Yeah, that's a regular occurrence. I think we're like capable of killing everything right now quite easy. Um, Mom is really not a gamer. Mom grew up with the Nintendo Entertaining System. A mouse and a keyboard are quite challenging for a lady her age. What did you play? Ping pong? Not even called ping pong. What's it called? It's called pong, you fucking moron. <laughs> oh, I love how you picked up on how dumb I am. <laughs> Who do you think should be controlling Lizelle? I think it would be me. Shadowheart could be considered very evil if she abides the shards guidelines. Someone like Will would be really fitting for your party. <laughs> she just went cake machinery <laughs> like a bunch of dildos on tables i can just imagine lizelle walking into a sex shop and just <laughs> bullying the gay section <laughs> but then she leaves with a bottle of dragon's grease what happened i wanted to knock them over for experience you mean you wanted to murder these people because you're evil Yo, I crit! Wait, no, I'm supposed to be a good guy. Oh no, I crit! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I crit! It was Lazel. It wasn't you. But I was controlling it. Her. It. Oh no. Oh no. I should see them as evil, right? Mind flares are worth smiting because they kidnapped us, messed with our bodies, and implanted things into our head. I think we're on the same page. They are basically attacking me, and I need you to defend myself. What just happened? <laughs> I'm killing people. That's gonna happen a lot, isn't it? I'm like, what happened? And you're just giggling. I am killing people. <laughs> Mom, not again. <laughs> me at a party. Gotta keep my people raising hands strong. I was about to say pimp hand, but I wouldn't pimp out my own son. At least not yet. He hasn't let me down enough. I will evaluate your performance. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me. Down, down. Down. That was quite horrible. Discomfort fades and another sensation washes over you. Connection. You like felt that she's evil, right? You had like a connection with Shadowheart. You were like, hey, my people, gang gang, we evil together. Let's go. Oh, but please don't gang gang me. Oh my god. Haven't I taught you better, son? We don't use gang gang around here. Yeah, but I'm gonna gang gang. I even forgot what it means. I don't know what it means either. <laughs> He's just like repeating it. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. Oh, she's already racist, so I think you could say, yeah, Shadowheart is quite evil. Got a problem with Githyanki? Bro, I mean, if somebody around me had no nose, I'd be racist too. She might be a far descendant of Michael Jackson. I heard the, the race she's coming from was called a... <laughs> I'm not gonna say... A Githyanki. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> My first dialogue option. <laughs> Alright then, let's get going. I'm mum. I'm basically everyone's mum. Yeah, it's that person that just wants to be mum, but you're evil, so it's not really fitting. It is evil, because I'm collecting people to exploit them. I mean, you did just collect a racist girl, so I guess you can be evil with her, yeah? See, I don't even have to race her, right? She's perfect from the beginning on. Too much? No, it's like you go to adopt children and you look for the bad ones. <laughs> That's your whole strategy. Okay, son, come over here. Stand right here, please. What's the quick save button, F5? <laughs> yes, yes, you don't need quick saving. It's just I think you're gonna need one of those. Here, take it. I've had enough of you, wench. Pilot. It's over, mom. It's time for you to get smited. Stand still, mother. I shall put you down for good. Just stand still. Just stand still. I knew I should have left you at the dock shelter. I can't walk. Me neither. Do as I say. Lizelle is taking control, by the way. You have a power struggle right now with a different strong woman. Excuse me? Maybe she can be my new mom. No, step mom. You don't need another mother. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Why is what? your first instinct to throw things? Have you never been thrown at by your mom? Like, was there never a shoe or anything she threw at you? No, my mom is nice. Oh. My mom literally divorced my dad the day he started throwing plates around the kitchen. I... I... Well, that got dark really f really fast. We need to install you a mod where all of your throwables just look like plates. <laughs> or just pick up some plates and throw them too. We really do look like a very messed up family. We're a patchwork family. None of us choose this way of life. It can't get worse from this point on. We're basically... Oh, that looked nice. Sorry, I got sidetracked by the imps slicing the mind flare. You're impressed with messed up murder? I kind of do. It was well coordinated. It had the right amount of blood. It wasn't too gory. And... <laughs> she said gay. I like how you laugh at that every time. <laughs> It made me fart. We're just gonna go to whack. Good old whack. Shadow heart. Oh my god. You know the same move that my mom uses with the wooden spoon when I misbehaved the whack? I wish I could use a hand roller as a weapon or I don't know. Or oh, you can use the salami later on in the game. I should slap you with the salami. That feels appropriate. <laughs> Oh, he's not actually dead. I did the wrong attack. No, you activated the passive to not kill them. Oh, right. It's because I'm righteous. And that bear did not do anything wrong. Well, to be honest, they're all trying to murder us for no reason. 
it's because I'm dumb, you know? I'm like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong, but they're trying to murder me. <laughs> so you're gonna leave it on the whole game? That's a smart idea, though, so I don't accidentally kill things. Bad bear! You're gonna send them to bear jail to reform a little conga line? That sounds like such a nice family activity. It's family Friday. Family Friday? When it's Friday and we spend quality time with the family. And what we're gonna do is up to me because I'm the head of the family. Ooh, oh, wow. 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 Strong arms. Oh. I shall smite thee. No, no, no. Why would you do that? Because it's fun. Try it. <laughs> well. I wanted to smite him so bad. I didn't think I could be more disappointed in you, son. <laughs> I'm literally the only one that failed in our family. Everybody else did the show except me. How to ruin family time. Family Friday is ruined forever. Oh, bonus action is the same action as shoving. <laughs> Damn it! Looks like you have anger issues. <laughs> I like how whenever you're angry, you just throw things at them. I shall smite the- Smite the evil. Oh, I actually bonked his ass. This guy is so confused. He's never been touched so much in his life. Wait, am I able to light my sword of his sword by touching tips? Probably, yeah. But I wouldn't attack him with fire. He's quite resistant to that. Don't bother with the shove. I confirmed that it doesn't work. But it goes right in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I need to see for myself. Good job on wasting your turn, mother. It's not wasted because I still have my action to hit him. I'm gonna hit you later. You would dare raise your hand against me. You shall be smitten, mother, for the greater good. I will tell Granny about this. I shall avenge my father. You because you killed my dad. Because your father is healthy. <laughs> no, you killed him. You killed him. I know you killed him. I didn't There's kill a reason anyone. he doesn't respond to my letters. You can't write. You shit all over the parchment and send it and expect an answer. Maybe I should stop using crayons to write the letters. Oh, I forgot again. I'll do it now. Do it next turn because now it's gonna be waste. That. Oh. You've never been the smartest kid, but you're I mean, guy. we have established this at the start of the run. This is fitted. But sometimes you shouldn't lean completely into the roleplay. Yeah, this is totally roleplay. <laughs> Especially when it trickles over into the real world. He's 6 HP. One hit and he's dead. Okay. I suck. Bro. Okay, who's doing the last hit? The Mind Flayer, probably, because you're gonna miss. Watch me. I rather not. It just hit the air. <laughs> you put too much pressure on me. That's what parents do. Let the sun finish. You shall perish for the greater cause. Oh my god, I will never smite anybody in my life. My son's first smite, surrounded by a big audience of fiends and demons, a commander and even a mind flayer is present. And he just whiffs. You disgust me. Okay, should I try to do the final hit? Yeah. It's time for the smite. It's time yeah, for the yeah, smite. Yeah, time for the smite. Let's go for it. Perish. Stop. Demon. Make me... <laughs> Uh, my disappointment my is immeasurable. Back to the character crate. I need a new son. <laughs> oh my go. god, finally. Somebody has to pick up that sword. You do it. Don't leave until I do it, remember? The geeks turned on us. The geeks turned on us. <laughs> turned on us. Oh no, the sword. I didn't pick it up. Oh no, what, what about the sword? Did you loot it? Oh no. Uh, I think we need to quick load. No, don't, don't. I picked it up. I picked it up. Quick loads anyways, because I didn't hear what you said. I could feel you hovering over the F8 key. I still am, bro. No, please don't. I'm thinking about doing it in spite. No, my short. I'm going to wake up on the shore and be like, it was all a dream. I was never abused by my mother. Then I look around and I see you and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> the abuse continues and I will make you resign your pitiful oath. Vengeance is the only true way. Vengeance cleanses the heart, not your righteous shit. It's a miracle that I'm intact because I'm a righteous man who serves God. There was literally 20% intact when we left the naughty Lord. There's nothing about you I would consider working. Set your legs. Come here. Let me make you 5% uh, intact. Well, if you insist. But you have the fire sword? Nope. 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 Stop. Don't actually murder me. Don't do it. That fire Fire sword is a one shot. Chunka! Oh! So are you gonna use the fire sword? You are the murderer. Yeah, I'm the murderer. I like fire. Oh, I get it. No, no, no. You yoinked it because you're evil. I was supposed to loot it, but you quickly yoinked it and left. Yeah, I intended for that roleplay. I'm such a role player. So about this evil wrench. Son, how do you feel about this woman? She's kind of cute. Do you feel attached to her? I feel like she hasn't wronged me. She's a little unpleasant towards Lizelle, but they have their differences. Very well. You're old enough to make your own choices. I think that she will be a worthy warrior on our, on our trip. And our favorite rocket ship cruising through the skies, little Einstein. My childhood <laughs> lullaby. <laughs> that was great. Reaches for the artifact. Oh, you're being a thief. How fitting. You gonna steal her virginity too while you're at it? I don't think she's a virgin. But she's also committed her whole life to a cause, which usually means no sex, actually. I don't think she would have reached her age if she didn't have some dick in between. This girl is absolutely crazy. She's probably a priest, which means she's not a virgin, because... Well, that's honest of you. Yeah. Don't I'm not gonna say it. Thank you. Chief Fox <laughs> Move it on. Cut. Big cut. No, no, no. <laughs> cut, cut, cut.
<laughs> I like how one of your most said phrases now is we like monetization out here. <laughs> I should write a song about that when we play the Bard. The tale of lost monetization. The tale of two degenerates who commit to the funny too much and lose money. Commit the funny, lose the money. Yeah, lifestyle bros. Intentional rhyme, gang gang. Oh, you had to ruin it. <laughs> Your character feels like she would go for two. True. She yeah. doesn't care. Survivability is probably one of your main goals as well. You do anything for survival, right? Self-preservation. So maybe Lysel is good for you. Yeah, I think maybe Lysel might be the better fit. What is Gale? Absolutely good-hearted. Oh, so he would be fit in for me. Yeah. I think I need a really clear reason to kill someone. I'm no murder hobo. I'm just evil. I think you could kill her if you like Lysel more because she hates Lysel. Oh, but then let me do it when Lysel is around. Wait. The way you just walk off carelessly. We need each other. You do technically need her for now until you get Lysel. She just doesn't know that. Ooh. For now, you can stay. I wanted to thank you again. Your thank is appropriate. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say your thank before in my life. How would you say it then? Your thanks? Your gratitude? Yeah, gratitude. Well, let's pick up Gale and then let's go for Lysel. I am approaching a suspicious looking portal. I shall close it with my righteous hammer. I shall bonk the portal. Wait, that sounds wrong. There might be evil inside. You better bonk the portal. <laughs> That sounds so sus. Approach the sigil on the stone. Oh Magic man, I just realized I can't slap the hand. That's not nice. I'm so sad. It looks slightly dangerous. I touch the evil thing because I'm dumb. I regret it instantly. Owie, boo boo. She <laughs> just makes sure to find out if it's truly evil in the first place. Uh -huh. Doctor, I have a case of the ouchies. I have a case of the boo-boo, doctor. Oh, you can slap the hand. It's not gonna break your oath. I still think it's inappropriate for a goody two-shoes. Maybe it's a greeting in draw culture. Show your mother that you know the customs. High five, bro. Hey, high five. <laughs> Perhaps I should have clarified a helping and... Oh, I told her we're having fun. Anyone? He needs my help, but like, I don't know if he's an evil... He could be a serial killer, you know? Does he seem evil to you? His voice is kind of calm and, but you know, that could just be deceptive. I'm gonna ask who he is. Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, we'll get properly introduced. Sounds like a decent human who is speaking sense. I shall help him, but I shall keep my eye on him. Uh... Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I almost had a heart attack. If it wasn't for your strong legs, I swear to God. <laughs> you know, when you pull, it's all about the legs. You gotta like really plant yourself into the it ground is, and get a is. grip. Never skip leg day. That's it. Man, your character looked so good in the character creation, but now you look like you're wearing your pubes on your head. Hello, I'm gay. Oh, you're gay too? <laughs> Apologies, usually better at this. No need to apologize. Are you okay, good sir? Need some tea? Maybe some coffee? Sure a bonk if you're evil, perhaps? Are you evil? Tell so me now. I know you. Don't, I. Don't point at him. Speaking, Do you pay your taxes? <laughs> Unga crosses the seven realms, the seven seas to fight evil tax evasions. <laughs> he will gather them and he will smite them with impurity. I kind of want you to be voted in the background on the evil stuff. I think it will look funny. Oh, okay, okay. I shall not succumb to your temptations. This is a good man. I'm not the temptress. I am the voice of righteousness. What is it? Opposite day? No, it is opposite. Opposite day. Night. My head hurts. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon. Better. I'm a paladin. I shall heal you with my fate. I will pray and the mind flare will leave. Oh, I have a paladin option. The bottom one is like kind of nice for a paladin. I suppose few enough can. I can put a plaster on your wound, but that's about it. I just put a plaster where the insertion is on the head for where the parasite went. You're healed now. Surgeon Unga closing up the open head by a buku kiss. <laughs> I just put a plaster on it and give it a smooch. Mwah. You're healed now. God will protect you. <laughs> is that what happened to the guy on the Nautilite? <laughs> we don't talk about that. Before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that. Oh, he is sweet. He yeah. just showed his manners. Yeah, he called himself ill-mannered for a second, so my eye kind of twitched and I was like, <gasps> you're evil? And then it's like, nope, never mind. But then he wasn't. Now we get the smites. The big smites. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. Divine smite. Oh my god, now I can actually say I shall smite the... Is there any other popular wards apart? from smite justice reveal uh retribution i like justice god of city needs my protected i'm batman i mean among us oh these are cool seer and smite i can burn people oh i like one of my skills is called heroism that's a good word heroic i'm a hero i'm a folk hero broken must have been here a while. Broken, just like me, on the inside. <laughs> I was abused. You were not abused. Stop spreading rumors. I guess yeah, I can spread my cheeks instead. That's not very righteous. I do it under a roof so God can't see me. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. I love that stare. Under elf. They are scared of my race. That's what I like about the drows. They are not appreciated when they don't walk under the earth. That's pretty cool. So they attack me just on sight because I'm a drow. You're basically like a black guy being pulled over. 
no, 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 no. I mean, it does sound like you're a minority, right? But not like a minority that's good. It's like you're racist, so people hate you, you know? You're like the KKK or something. Well, maybe not the KKK, but they clearly don't like me. We have a weird culture. We have weird structures. We are worshipping a spider goddess that eats everything. I mean, it can be compared to terrorist groups, I guess, like a radical branch of the Islam, for example. Like, oh my I, I, god. I, I'm, I'm fucking Al-Qaeda here. Oh my god, it was never Bush. It's you. 9-11. It was always you. Please. I, can't I bet you have like a selfie on your phone where you're just posing right before you fly into the building. <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> posing in front of the... Oh my god, fucking valves. <laughs> where you go? She rarely managed to shock me, but the selfie one, damn, that was... Bro. Would you even bother intimidating? I feel like you would just attack things like that when they're against you. No, I would intimidate them. And if I fail, I will take the challenge. I might be evil, but I'm not irrational. You're not dumb. You're a strategical evil. Also, I can possibly impress Lysel over here. Come, I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. You shall not Say give please. me commands. <laughs> it's so woman. funny. Never. <laughs> Wait, that's it? <laughs> I feel like you both just like gained self-respect for each other there though. Like when she said never to that, you were like, hey, that's my kind of gal. That's my kind of gal. She's asserting her dominance to you, so y'all are like equals now. Oh my god, it's like I have a second mom. She's also a bitch. <laughs> I don't want to be gay. What does it mean to be gay? To be or not to be gay. That is the real question. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. What the hell is but auspicious? Honestly, I don't know the word. I think we're suffering from oh, bad education. Auspicious is autistic and suspicious combined. Oh god. That can't be the answer. You're making this shit up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a joke. Combine and words is also a joke. It's not a real thing. It is when you're German. Yeah, but I'm not. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> I just combined three no's in a row. What does that mean? No, no, no. No. Oh my god, you're overwhelming my brain so much. I've looked up auspicious. It means favorable. That's just a lie because being autistic is not very favorable. <laughs> it is in some cases. If you're having like a building block competition and you're like a kid, uh, you can sort by colors, which most people wouldn't do anyway. I wouldn't ask for gratitude again. I would rather pin her down and ask her if she has a cure for me. She promised if I get her out. Whoa, whoa, you want to pin her down? Us? I don't want to talk with you anymore. You just changed your mind to please me. <laughs> I'm a good son. Do you have abandonment issues I can nourish? I'm just scared of hearing that Discord leave sound effect. I just said that for comedic value. I would never leave you behind. I'm now staring at the Discord call. <laughs> I'm that paranoid. As you should be. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Augustil? Augustil. It's the first time I picked up the word. It's probably because we've been laughing about gay every single time she said it, and now we somehow got used to the word itself that we uh, spot other Githyanki jargon. Is that even an English word? Jargon? Slang? Slang? Sorry. Do you know slang? Yes, I know slang. Please don't drop slang. Gang gang. <laughs> you really want me to? Okay, fine. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. I'm Loki turned on right now. <laughs> it's like an opposite attraction, you know? She's bad, I'm good. She reminds you about your mother? Uh, we just made this real Freudian out of nowhere. I don't like this. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Well, Shadowheart. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Holy crap. If you're sure. Oh, she sounded so sad. No. As you like. Perhaps I'll see you at camp. Perhaps not. She sounded so sad. Has the error of your ways become clear? <laughs> the error. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Moshi. Hey, I'm gonna have fun later. I got a Moshi. Um, that's a new thing they patched into this game. You can alter your appearance. Oh. I want to get a good doggo because Paladin's best friend is dog. Dog din. Okay. Dog pad. Let's get you a doggy. Paladog. Pa Paladog? I'm trying to make a Paladin and dog combination. Yeah, I can't think of any. Yeah, because it doesn't fit. Dogadin? Dogadin, I like that. We shall craft him an armor. Paladin's best friend. Dogadin? Oh, wait, I can smite it. I can actually be the killer because we hate mind flares. They're evil. I'm going to do this. You okay. the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life. It's literally the most fit and smite Maybe moment. You didn't feel compassion but you feel compassion. compassion i think you would give in to the emotion i think this is the most fit and smite moment <laughs> i just want to use your smite <laughs> i should be furious this is not right this thing is evil it abducted me it experimented on me but do you have it in your heart do you even possess the emotion anger this thing is pure evil if i smite something it's, it's such him. a savage feature of the mind it's beneath you no it's not smiting is good if they deserve it for it he should be whipped made to bow before this creature wait in shame. what Losing no. your oath, speedrun. No. Forcing you to 
Love it. Wait, what? Then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. I don't want to love this thing. Oh no, intelligence. Oh no, I don't trust intelligence, bro. <laughs> we never play intelligence characters. I'm gonna break free with my trusty old legs because I never skip leg day. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate. Mass. See, it's literally radiating bad doo doo aura. Malice. The bird is malice. Doo doo. That's what's radiating between your butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the palace shit. Have they invented toilet paper yet? I hope so. If not, Gel's rope looks very useful to me. I either leave it to die, which is like actually kind of messed up. Because you would leave it to suffer, yeah. But although that is good punishment, right? This is also merciful. I think that's befitting. Don't you reckon that things that do bad things deserve to be punished? I punish everyone. I am vengeance. I am Batman. Bro, this is such a side choice. Don't make this too hard. Take a pick. I <laughs> shall smite thee for justice. Heroism. Ah, yes. There's justice all over your boots. <laughs> Justice ketchup. Justice loot. You know the main reason in my mind why I killed it? It's because I was like, XP. <laughs> <laughs> no hope of clearing this without a shovel. There's literally a shovel in there. Bro, I thought I'm the dumb one here. Yeah, do the hard work. At least I was taught to work, unlike you. Sheltered little pup. <laughs> woof, woof. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. It's not a problem, but don't you feel inclined to defend the weak ones? I don't know these guys. That dude literally looks like Satan. Remember your oath. I'm gonna break your kneecaps and then I'm gonna break my oath, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> They're so small and cute. I kind of feel like sticking with them because of it. Is it improvised weapon time? Who can we pick? Oh, the goblins. They're being punished for crossing ways with me. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. But I've considered it. Yeah, he's a big show off and he's not pulling it off at all. I'd pull off his clothes though. That sounds like a crime. I shall smite you, feeble creature, for crossing my path. Hey, hey, that's I my- I shall not be interrupted. Hey, that's my thing. Guess who taught you, bitch? I actually used an online guide. <laughs> <laughs> I shall nurture you to a true warrior. I'm gonna help Will. That was very helpful. Eat my shit. I'm gonna cast a fart cloud on you. I'm really glad that's not in your spells list. Stinky cloud. Oh, that I forgot that I have dash. There you go. That's my boy. Make mama proud. I used my legs again. <laughs> you used your legs again. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> How they grow up so fast. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. You did technically hit all the humans as well, so you really don't care. Mom is pretty strong. You might have inherited good legs, but mommy has it in her arms. And mommy takes care of her son. We're like a transformer if you put us together. <laughs> what would that look like? I think it's just you carrying me because you have the strong arms. You would drool all over me and we could combine into Optimus Slime. Autismo Prime. <laughs> Autismo Prime? <laughs> mommy got you. Oh no. The candle. Go, go candle. Bro, you literally burning the humans. I don't care. I do. They are beneath me. Disgusting creatures. You think Will's gonna want to join my party after we burned him? He doesn't even know who burned him. I'm gonna protect one of the humans so they don't die. Let's see if we can pull them closer together. Group hug. Bro, you were just messing with them by now. They're your little play toys. Yes. They really are evil. They are a feeble creature and I have no respect for them. Hey, they're goblins, right? They are. Gobble these nuts. Oh, not again. It's the second time I fall for this. Remember? Remember to dip your weapon into the fire. I can dip it on Will, right? <laughs> if you want to. Will's not a dippable surface. He's not on fire. Bugbear. Hehe. <laughs> Very nice. Now smite him. Smite him. I shall concursive bash your skull in, fool, for the righteous cast. <laughs> It's how I lobotomize people. I just bonk them with a hammer on the you head. You bonk them? Yeah, that's the real punishment. Brain damage. Speaking of brain damage, I'm gonna do a very brain damage move. Yeah. I'm not feeling too well. I mean, it's Family Fridays after all. I'm gonna talk to the dog, right? Yeah. If you kill that dog, I will literally stop playing. I might be evil, but even evil people love dogs. Even Hitler had a dog. <laughs> Why did you have to go in there? Come with me. Come. Gobble gobble. Follow me, please. Gobble gobble. Oh my god, Val. You are no turkey, son. Okay, son, use your legs. I will make you proud. Make yourself useful. I love it when she says that. She's so mean, I'm getting addicted to her abuse. Yeah, I think I'm into strong women. You're just tasting your own medicine, basically. And you're like, damn, I'm pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Am I considered a strong woman? Yeah. But you know I'm male, right? No, you're a female, what? You're my mom. Oh, okay. I thought we were talking in real life. You're not a woman in real life? I'm not a woman in real life. I have big hobbit feet. You seducive. <laughs> I can't believe you had a female character in World of Warcraft and I believed you. I actually did. I actually played a blood elf. You lied to me. I'm not proud of that. You were my wow girlfriend. You were paying great amounts of money. What can I say? 
Oh my god, you left blood on the floor, Val. Look! <laughs> you broke your legs, the only thing that's useful about you. No, 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 no. I'm literally useless now. Son, please. Son, 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 stay with me. Augusto will affix the safest. I hate how she just says a bunch of words now and just assumes that we know what they are, you know? She's like those Russians in the old Dota or CSGO that just talk in their language and disregard if you understand them or not. I want to go down here. We don't have a potion of featherfall, do we? No, but you have strong legs. Let's go with the strong legs then. Ah, it's just seven damage. You know when they say like, if somebody else jumps off a bridge, would you do it? And me just chasing you like this? Yeah, but I'm not just so... Why did you jump so far? You could have avoided three <laughs> damage. It was a competition, bro. I had to jump further than you. What's the competition here? Leave the most blood on the floor. <laughs> oh, you're such a disgrace. I love it. You're a true soul. You can't die. You. Not a step closer. A strange thing. <laughs> so silly. He's like, not a step closer. And I just have this like very gentle smile on my face. I just look like I'm here to assist. I'm like very soft spoken. Like, I'm just here to help you. Don't worry. I'm one of the good guys. Yeah, are you Oath of the Ancients or Oath of the Devotion? The first one. But it's the joy of existence and the basking glory of creation that you must hold close to your heart. Never let it slip, Paladin. Never let it be taken. Then in contrast, mine? Villains, betrayers, oathless fiends. They lurk around every corner, preying on the vulnerable and twisting the worlds in their favor. You must twist the sword through the hearts, every last one of them. You must be relentless, Paladin. That's a big contrast in our actions. Look at my face. I'm just here to assist. I'm a good guy. <laughs> I just look like I'm in peace with nature. You could reckon that a bird is going to land on your shoulder any second. <laughs> the Shrek scene. It's all ogre now. I feel like you're a gentle soul, but you're also cautious. From all we saw so far, though, it's just an innocent man bleeding out on the ground. I feel like if I'm not quick, he could die. That makes more sense, yes. Like I could question his beliefs after I prevent his death, to be sure, you know? Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. You're always so lucky. It's called skill. An oil bear got him. I want to see the owlbear. He has a tadpole in his head, too. It is your tadpoles trying to establish communication between each other. What do you think about the whole tadpole situation in your paladin of? I think your paladin would recognize them as vile creatures. Yeah, but also I can't just murder a man because he got kidnapped like me. You're always uh, thinking in extremes. You don't need to murder him. You could block him out. I should resist the sexy urge of the mind flayer. You look kind of seduced, to be fair. Just look at your facial expression. You're thinking about something. His strong thighs. <laughs> it's always the legs for me. They attract the part of the spine. It's the only thing you recognize. Everything else that confuses you. Our brother, he was chosen like you. So you're the chosen? So they see the mind flayer thing as like a god to carry stuff out yeah is vengeance really a paladin thing though avenge it is my paladin thing i do want to find the owlbear but i don't you are all about protecting the natural order they're still alive which is what matters i could warn them about the wilderness it's a scary place they might see shrek oh wait i'm already here boo <laughs> <laughs> boo to the face somebody starts playing <laughs> Somebody once told me. It's a dangerous place. You better leave before more of my kind show up. I'm gonna warn them. We know that all too well, sir, but the absolute sent us. Shrek is love. Wait, Shrek is life. They're gonna praise me now. You're too young to start balding, my friend. I should have named myself Shrek. It's too obvious. No, you're fine. Yeah, I should have named myself uh Shrekle. Shrekle. It's like a freckle, but it's Shrek. Shrekle. <laughs> so there are many Shrek faces popping up on your skin, and everything suddenly starts to smell like onions. You're still alive is kind of a good mindset for this. And just leave it. I suppose he'd want us to go on, find a way to honor his sacrifice. Bro, he died five seconds ago and they're like, yeah, we'll just walk away. The kid at least like bury his body, you know? I <laughs> just leave them to decay in the sun. Bro, I gotta go smite them for that. <laughs> I can't believe it. He just died just five left seconds them. ago. That's so funny. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? This is actually so fitting. Has absorbed I did the good thing and then you just creep up to the corpse and do this off the side. Strengthen you. So you can take his tadpole to become stronger. And I think it's really fitting. Like yeah. I just settled this encounter and then you walk up to the body and do the bad thing after to mess me over. I'm gonna take the power. Oh Ooh. wow. Well. Oh. Ugh, this gives me eat it. alien vibe. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm gonna put it in my eye socket. That's not the stream you take and then you put it up your butt. That's what you just did. I like the thing. Also, your inventories are locked. I was afraid of your actions. Are you serious? Yeah, but I'm gonna unlock them. Yoink! It's a thing of mutual trust. No! I didn't take anything. I was just kidding. Not yet. I'm not a thief. You can't. If you take something, you will break you off. Can we just bury the corpse, please? Can you pick up the corpse? Yes! It shall have a proper burial. We feed the old bear. Oh, God. 
I think this is a good place right here. It should be a place of tranquility. Yeah, water is calm. He shall rest here. We just poisoned the drinking supply of everything downstream. This always happens. I have good intentions, but I do something dumb in the end. It's fine. Listen, I found us a coffin. Here, perfect. I put him in the coffin. I put him below the coffin. His face is covered. Oh no. <laughs> That's the best burial I can do for now. This is the Albert cave, 100%. There are tracks on the floor that give it away. So is the dead carcass over here. I have zero spell slots, I'm afraid. I want to pet the Albert. Let's go. Oh, I like heavy stones. I like stuff to throw. I like to shove them up my asshole. <laughs> Oh, do you see that? See what? There's like a big treasury down there with a bunch of shinies. Oh, you're already going down there. That's just my loot fingers. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up the... Oh! I have a shortcut. Hi! <laughs> Watch your legs, please. Can we break it, do you think? Should I quick save because we keep damaging ourselves? Yeah. Oof. It's fine. Potion of animal speaking, you wanted to use it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I almost ran into it. Ooh. I gave it to you. Oh, that was way too close. Mom's got to look out for her son, even though she despises him. Chuck, 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 let's go. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear. Quite the inviting Yo. atmosphere. Out of Majestic. What's this? Something weak? Something tender. She's looking at my legs. Soft meat. I actually kind of look like the handsome version of Shrek, but green. You know, when he's human. You really want to be Shrek. Don't you see the resemblance? I do see it, but I also see a desire burning in your eyes. I feel like I would love animals, right? Yeah. So I could call that the injury. It's a splinter. <laughs> oh my God, she's also a bad bitch. She's a strong, independent woman too, and I'm kind of turned on. <sighs> Helson intensifies. The intimidation is so fucked up. That would be something fitting for my character. I'm going to try to persuade. Again, you with the 15. Yeah, my rolls are quite good. You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go. <laughs> my soul disapproves. I shall smite this fall beast on my own. No, don't do it. I will start with those disgusting cup. No, 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 don't don't kill the cup. Don't kill the dope. Not the cup? We can spare the cup. Please don't kill the cup. Okay. You love animals too. I do. Kill the mom and take the cub. I want to make it grovel. I made it grovel, which is an ultimate sign of dominance. <laughs> but let's be real. I don't think you would kill a cub because you love animals as well. Yeah, that's true. You killed the mom, though, because she's intimidated. Oh, it's another child you're going to adopt. It's another Yo. child I'm going to adopt. You kill the mother and take the child. <laughs> Bro. I'm basically Peter Pan, but a little bit more wretched. How dare you? No, mom, please don't hurt the cub. I beg you, I'll do anything. I will knock it out. I have to. I shall slap you. <laughs> Those sounds. Oh my god. It's so sad. How does your paladin feel about that? I basically dragged him into the fight. My heart just broke. But I must assist. I can't let you guys die. You're women after all. You're weak. <laughs> wow. Oath of misogyny, right? I'm trying to make you proud and you're a part of the droves who are misogynistic. Aren't we... What was the word we'd learned previously? Martinistic? <laughs> Marxist? <laughs> We're definitely not Marxists, no. I'm gonna tank for you, mom. Okay, tank for me. Gratitude. Look at Gale. <laughs> He's putting mom on a leash. Lazel, you suck. Women, am I right? She must have heard that. <laughs> oh, the Albert heard that. <laughs> you Bruh, the jump? It just got angry. It's phase two. Oh, it's phase two, holy fuck. It just one shot Gale. Look at its eyes. It's like enraged. Mother's instincts kicked in, you know? Oh, yeah, it is. It's trying to persevere to save the child. I'm the good boy, so I'm gonna help up my bro. Boom. You know, I'm a mother too. <laughs> Don't kill the child, please. As soon as you said I'm a mother too, <laughs> the child just bit you and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I wanted to show mercy, but apparently not. <laughs> I like how it's going for you. That's so funny. Protecting the mom. Jesus Christ. I think you should finish the fight. It's just 12 HP. I shall burn the for the Inquisition. Burn! You're not part of the Inquisition. Oh my god, you literally burned the corpse. Are you catching the baby? Yeah, I don't know if we did something wrong. You literally scorched her mom in front of its eyes. Naturally, it's gonna run. It just fucking despawned. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. I really want to get the cub because I love animals. This is making me excited. Yeah. So I want to check how to get it. It should be at a goblin camp. Doggy, dog. <gasps> I must pet. I must pet. I never got to pet the owl bear, so I must pet dog now. It's the perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, no. Keep moving, stranger. All right, I can talk to him. Quietly. I forgot we have the potion. That's so cool. I can actually ask him if he murdered. Oh no, if the dog murdered that human, I kind of have to smite it, don't I? You have to. Do dogs get a pass? Not if they are evil beings, I'm sorry. Oh god, I hope god is not watching. <laughs> I told you to go. 
I think I'm about to break my well, oath well, trust for a me. dog. By, by all the things you have done in the past, God has averted his eyes a long time ago. <laughs> he looked away when I started sexualizing legs. <laughs> I have huge bonuses on intimidation. Also have huge bonuses on persuasion. The fact that I have both half-orc and paladin and are just opposing is so weird to me. It's a conflict within your heart. It's what builds character. Yeah, it's like in my blood I'm an orc, right? So I have these urges. That was close. Mm, there's death in your scent, but not in your words. <laughs> you can smell all the blood that came out of my legs. You should go. My friend is injured. Okay, so it's his friend. So it's a good dog. It's looking after him. I don't have to smite it. Thank God. Thank God. I don't think he understands death, even though he's talking about it. Why are we feeling like? Because both of these are kind of sad, but... I would just leave. <laughs> he needs a grave as two forward. Yeah, I have to ease him into it. He's not going to wakey-wakey. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. Oh, this is actually depressing. Prove this man dead. Shout at his corpse. Wake the fuck up! That is so morbid. We were attacked. A cackling furry things on two legs. You know the creatures he describes. I will smite the furries. What's your name? Let me predict. Good boy? Who's a good boy? He calls me Scratch. I love that name. I love Scratch too. Gail approves. He's a good guy too. Man, if somebody in this party doesn't love a dog... I'm gonna give myself the cape because I'm a hero. <laughs> You look dashing. Scratch is here. I talk to Scratch. I pet him. I pet him. Pet the dog. Yes. Okay, this playthrough is over. That was the goal. I just achieved real happiness. <laughs> my pet is complete. My paladin oat has been fulfilled. I had the same reaction the first time. I can pet him again. Oh, no, no. Unga is entering the infinite loop. The loop of happiness. Don't you think it's funny that happiness has the word penis in it? It is super funny, yes. I thought it was infinite, but it just allows you to pet it a second time. That's kind of cute. That is something games don't do, and I honestly commend that. There's little, literally a page dedicated called Can You Pet the Dog? And it lists every video game in existence where you can pet the dog that is just so wholesome sometimes i love humanity sometimes i hate it but humanity's love for dogs i love the cape really suits me did you see it yeah you look good it suits my righteous vibe this head ruins my my evil mom wipe you look kind of artistic <laughs> get it i sadly get it <laughs> they still looking sophisticated it's like the opposite of what she is though which is so funny to me what does it look like on gale he looks like a pretentious fuck that imitates a fake french accent to make himself feel more important bonjour no. <laughs> Immaculate French, my friend. Bonjour, no. River Dirty. Goblins drawing? Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin. They should have used crayons. <laughs> they should. This childlike portrait. It's a childlike portrait. Obviously, they should have used crayons. Wait, are you actually able to sneak by them? Maybe. Oh, I messed up. You can enter with a surprise attack. I'm the only one that's not found right now. I could jump behind them. That's out of sight. Will this work? Look at this. I jumped over the rock. I'm a god. Climb up here and shove this goblin down. As a surprise. <laughs> What's the line? What line are we got? We gotta say something for this. We gotta say something, something smart, something witty. For Sparta? Um, too corny. For justice? This is for justice! Every single goblin in this whole camp should have been dead of cringe. Watch this. Are you gonna troll? <laughs> Yo, you <laughs> threw him so far. What the hell? <laughs> Let's pile him up. Oh, you're gonna pile them up and then burn them all alive. <gasps> I like it. The inner German in you. Oh, come on. What? It was I, too easy. I, I've never burned anyone in my life. Bro, you're literally holding a flame and sword. Yeah. Right here. Look Look at this. You ready? You watching? I'm watching. Boom! <laughs> that was fun. Damn. You just erased him. Easy clap. I was zoomed in. I had first row seats for that lightning. That was nice. It's so beautiful. Look at his charred corpse from the line and it's sizzling. It's blue. This guy is not going to stand up. That's gruesome. Barbecue? Barbecue? Listen, I hate food waste in real life. You know. <laughs> okay, uh, give me one second, please. The council awaits you. Stop this oh, God. Thing! The goblin seems unsure whether to bow to you or attack. I think it is because of my race. What, what do you want? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, but bow you sounds need? like worship. Did I tell you to stop, turn around and continue? That sounds like something you'd say. Yeah, I stay true to my character. Uh, uh, keep him spinning! He's so scared stop of you, holy this. crap. I like that. You can hear his voice, like he's absolutely terrified. But you are blessed. Blessed. Is it the tadpole again? I think so. The symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, I will show you my blessing. I think about leaning into true soul stuff. Because you're embracing the mind flare stuff because it's evil? Yeah. Oh, that's super easy. I need to hit it too. That one, that one, that one. Never. <laughs> I hit it too. <laughs> you're, you're Why am I the one rolling high all the time? I'm stealing your good rolls, bro. We'll, uh, we'll be on our way. 
madam. Do as you like with the pipsqueak. The goblins slink backwards, afraid to take their eyes off you. Oh, I get it. She's hot. It's hard <laughs> to take an eye off that. Pull a lever and enjoy the squeals. Uh, we got a dash. Goblin business. He's making an excuse. Yes, get caught. Tavki crush it. Tadpole lets us command others. We must ignore it. This power is nothing but a symptom of disease. Oh, she's against what you're doing. Oh, yeah. She doesn't trust it. Do not trust the geek. It's going to be her campaign slogan. Don't trust the geek. Don't trust the geek. I'm the boss around here. I'm not taking any orders from her. You did decide that you want to stick with the mind flare. So yeah, you have to disagree with her. Yeah. Be the boss ass bitch that you're born to be. Is your mind so fragile that you cannot resist a simple temptation? <sighs> I already know the answer. She did disapprove me, so... You can hear him screaming. <laughs> oh, I can use a pitchfork. This is brilliant. I have bad memories with that because at the start of Shrek 1... SHUT THE FUCK UP YOU CUNT! There's blue boots in this chest. Oh my god, I look like a toy. Why like a toy? They just look like plastic. I mean, yeah, I guess. Anything good here? Um... I wanna see what's inside here. For real though, those boots just ruined my trip. I honestly look like an assembled toy. Look at it. I have a hammer, shiny shoes. I have a wooden shield with shiny spikes. I have a cape. Take Lysel's armor, put it on, and then it will match. Oh, I'm becoming a silver knight. Yeah, look, it's matching. You look brilliant. I hate it. It really fits the vibe of me being childish. <laughs> I feel like I went to like a dress up store, you know, with costumes. <laughs> dollar store we have a break lever and we have a release break lever i'm sorry but i can't stop thinking about how i look so when have we stopped caring about the gnome and the windmill i got sidetracked because of my toy figurine out yeah there. you got sidetracked so around like seven corners bro i look so shiny i can't i'm also gonna interfere with your bad actions oh my god did you press it <laughs> oh my god well i pressed the wrong one wait that's rescue the gnome no yeah it's the failed quest probably because he's not on the windmill anymore <laughs> oh good did it again he wanted to help but he pressed the wrong lever oh my god you're officially an oath breaker oh i think i found your gnome bloody amulet oh imagine you like encounter this goblin lady right and she looks at your neck and she sees like her husband's necklace and she's like where did you get that <laughs> i'm reading a book don't pretend you can read of quick bangs rattle the door then a low moan someone or something is having a bit of fun that sounds too like weird and creepy to be sex unless it's like a monster why is the music ramping up really scary boss fight it's a boss fight might be scary sex scary sex it's my favorite kind i'm going in <laughs> i'm officially turned on what the <laughs> hell did i just walk in on why is he embarrassed Oh, it's because we exposed them for being geek. It was a secret. Oh, look at the expression. <laughs> look at Gale in the background. <laughs> He's like disgusted. I wanted to join the fun. That is definitely not something I would say. Back away slowly sounds hilarious. <laughs> slowly backs away. Smash. No, madame. Oh, I don't want to get smashed. You. The buddy jiggle. <laughs> we got attacked. Hey, 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 you know what her name is? Butt here. There's butt in the name. Nice. You can hear the butt. Those cheeks are so big that you can hear the butt. Butt here. Puns. I think we just heard more than just the butt. You understood the pun though, right? No, I'm I'm dumb. Her name is Butt here. I understood the pun. Well. I hate you. <laughs> You're dead to me. So I literally tried to do a good thing there, right? And now I'm in combat. This feels really weird to be a paladin right now for me. You just... He had 27 health. I'm strong. Also, you just gave her trauma. Is she going to be enraged now? I gave her trauma? Yeah, she was screaming that he's dead. She's sad. He was a lover. Yeah, well, don't attack us then. Maybe I could have knocked him out. Ouch. Jesus. Is it actually phase two? Is she yeah, she's mad. I love these little things where they get pissed off because you killed somebody they cared about. Look at her eyes. I'm not feeling too well. Strength increased by four, armor class reduced by two. And she's 59 health. She actually is kind of a mini boss, isn't she? Perish. Who do I praise? Who's my, like, goddess? My god. You are in my way, foul beast. You shall perish for the greater cause. What greater cause? We interrupted the sex scene, Vel. Bro, she's in my patch. She's so big that she's literally blocking the whole door, okay? I'm fat shaman. I have to take her out. She's still a lady. Justice prevails. There's righteousness sneaking out. Fuck. There's righteousness pouring out of my asshole. Wait, that's blood. There's a lot of stuff pouring out of your asshole, but I wouldn't 
proclaim it righteousness. Too much Taco Bell. There's righteousness pouring out of my asshole. <laughs> it's proposing me to newer highs. It's time to thunder smite this hoe because uh, I'm torn now. Yeah, for Odin, bitch. Odin is your no god? Yep. You praise Odin? Yep. That's near to me, but good for you. And Kratos is my bro. Kratos is your bro? Yeah. Sounds like an angry bro. He's a very cray bro. I call him cray cray. You do the gang gang a lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so cray cray that we gang gang all the time. <laughs> That was my first ogre. Cool. Anything good? I didn't look. I turned around as a reflex after seeing that sex. Also, do you see this camera angle? Oh my lord. Oh, that hit the spot. Gail got healed, so he went, ooh, that hit the spot. But it looks like he's just <laughs> staring at the ass. He's appreciating. <laughs> that was too much for me. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough leathery meat. Oh, this is like, uh, what's that thing called where you pull the sword out of the stone? The King Arthur stuff? Yeah, but instead it's just stuck in a big piece of meat. That seems a fitting tale to be told by <laughs> someone of your kind. The bard is gonna make this sound way better though. He's gonna pretend like it was like a massive boulder and I pulled it out with my beefy hands, you know? Beefy hands, get it? The one time <laughs> I roll low. Well... I have one more attempt. 19. Oh God, that was a close one, boys. You yank the dagger free leaving a narrow slit behind. Can I take the meat? I can get a special summon here, which I would consider evil. Do it. He's a helpless victim. <laughs> Mom, not again. <laughs> The blood thirst that overcame me. Every time we go out. <laughs> Every time. Oh, mom, you're so embarrassing. Stop one hitting all my friends. And. Surprise. Oh, he's waking them all up. That's a cool yeah, encounter. That, that's a cool encounter. Yeah, I like that one a lot. It's like a domino effect. I was hoping they would keep doing that to the other graves. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are. I love this. I approve of this encounter. That's a really fun one. Remember earlier in the skellies, you could like pick up their weapons to disable them. Now this. There's a lot of passion that goes into developing these fights, and I love that. Mm -hmm. Me too. Then you probably want to use lay on hands on Gale. Oh, I'd lay my hands on Gale. Oh, yes, you would. Wow, chica, wow, wow. Broke the ass for the heal. I gotta get some out of it too. You know what's kind of funny? Gale putting his zombies on a leash. That sounds like a kink, bro. Yeah, it makes Gale seem really suspicious, but also stunning and brave because he just lives the way he wants and nobody's gonna tell him how to do it. So you kind of respect them, but are also disturbed? Yeah, you phrased it beautifully. That's exactly what I'm feeling. It's like how I feel towards Hitler's KDA. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine you were playing a video game, right? Stop and... right here. Stop no, 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 right please, here. please. I love this joke. Please, let me do it. <laughs> okay. So you know the way you play League of Legends? It's like double kill, triple kill, pentakill, and it's like Hitler. When you get too many kills, it's like Hitler. <laughs> So this gives me extra damage for justice. Then... He just was combobulated. His speech is your okay. joy. Yeah, I love it. Why should you open spat you out? No, he's cute. Oh, I would not no, no, treat no, no, this no. guy badly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Your daddy. So your shovel's master now. The shovel just calls daddy? Wait. And you, slab of beef with nipples, moo. Bro, I need to take notes. I need to talk like this. This is my favorite insult from the whole series so far. This guy is basically the Krieg of this game. I want to warn him, tell him to run, to hide. That's what I want to say. What actually comes out of my mouth is... I have the shiniest meat bicycle! Shiny meat bicycle. He talks about like skinning people's faces off and putting it on like pizzas and stuff, you know? Like he's absolutely gone. Master Illy, he tricks them, heals them. <laughs> Then they die. Oh. Shovel comes. Shovel Sounds like his master is pure them. evil. This is fitting. Make them walk. Necromancer, your kind call him. Fun, I call him. I fucking adore it. I love how this creature thinks. I call it fun. Yes. Love when they cry. Love when they bleed. Delicious. That made me feel weird. That sound it made. Just the delivery on the last part. The sudden shift in voice. Delicious. Incredible. I like this voice. I, I was entertained, but now I'm scared. You have such a way with words, it's true. Good with tongue. Me too. I think this is my new favorite character in the game. Yeah, mine too. Mirror, mirror, who is the prettiest of them all? I like that I have a draw option here. Did you realize that I have been making Shrek references because of my character? Yeah, I have. It's crazy how many times I've been doing it. This is not healthy for me. My addiction to Shrek is too big. It's because it's my comfort movie, you know? It makes me feel good. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. You are not Elintos. 
If you are his ally, step forward. <laughs> I think I should go for number three. Dude, that has to be like a mirror's biggest nightmare, right? Being smashed. <laughs> yeah, if there's a way to intimidate a mirror, it's this one. Ah, oh, that's a pretty high roll. I'm good at intimidation. You don't seem good at anything, bro. But you did get insane bonuses, so you're fine. I am incredible. There's a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then he's just shuffling off. Here, you can pass. Oh my God, this is like in Shrek. The mirror just gets scared and disappears. I need to stop talking about Shrek. Oh, you keep it up. I'll just get three, but everything is a Shrek reference. Two plus bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. So you have to be naked. Gal yeah, could wear them because he can only wear robes, which doesn't count as armor. You are insanely smart, good sir. Thank you, thank you. I got it from my mama. Grandma was kind of a bitch. Grandma was kind of a hoe too. Uh oh. I'm just gonna slowly walk away. You you literally stand on a trap. So? Trap. So there's a trap behind the door. Okay, let's see if I can do a 15. I did roll an 18 without bonuses, so I'm a god gamer. Okay. I don't know why I'm so lucky today, but I'm not complaining. I'm gonna call that that gargoyle statue on the right will like do a flame and bread on you. Yeah, both of them. Fuck it. Uh oh. Oval recess in the cover's mouth. So there's a hole in the mouth, and you're supposed to put something inside of it. Sounds Don't like. say it. <laughs> you try to examine. Onga unzips. <laughs> Any hole is a goal, baby. So yeah, it is dark, right? But my curiosity is immense right now. I really don't want to destroy it. I feel like I don't know enough about it to destroy it right now. Even though I sense a darkness, like oh, you sense a darkness. What gave it away? Is it because the book is covered in basically human skin and has a gaping mouth on it? Yeah, but you never know. It could be a decoration. Yeah, it might be a children's picture. Book. Just go ahead, read it to your nephew. That was too easy. There's no way. Dude, are you kidding me? We just cheesed it by using turn-based combat. Uh, I didn't activate that. You're telling me the game auto-activated it? That means I didn't have to do anything. That's OP. I feel kind of annoyed, actually. What's the point of making that trap if the game is going to save you? Oh, I was going to smash the wall. Onga smash. Onga boink. Just scraping up some pieces, Majesty. I love how they're all praising you, though. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You're such a bad bitch. It's so fitting. People can just feel hey, it. Boss. He literally called boss you boss. Up. I am boss. Boss ass bitch. Bitch. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> oh, chicken. Good protein source, eh? Tastes like fish. <laughs> Gentlemen, I love their voices. This quarrel sells Gentlemen, could take your shouts. Tastes like pork. I'm tastes in the background, like, yo, it tastes like beef. He seems so sophisticated. Oh my god, I have finger guns. Another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Show us the brand of the absolute. <laughs> Unzips. The brand is my dick. <laughs> Was that not funny? I thought that was really funny. You're just entertaining yourself with the same joke you did five minutes ago, so it's not having the same impact. You already blew that one on the Necronomicon. Hey, <laughs> I blew that one. Oh boy. You just added on to it unintentionally. Uh, yeah, I, I hit that. myself for that. Try to eat me and I'll brand your corpse with the mark of my oath. That's so cool. That makes me feel badass. Yeah, that's a super paladin. They're gonna fear me. I mean, they are trying to eat me. I feel like this is a good time for me to be like this. Food? No. Not food. <laughs> Too tough for your digestion, I feel. They just said I'm hard. Perhaps friend. <laughs> I'm so mature. I mean, at least you're having fun. Erect friend. Even if you're making everyone else around here uncomfortable. Are you uncomfortable? No, but the ogres are. With Gale's face? <laughs> Gale's taking his distance. <laughs> He doesn't want to be here. I do like him. I want to vibe with this guy. You're articulate for an ogre. That's a backhanded compliment. It's like, you're kind of dumb, but you're I. Am I not a Oh my god, I love this guy. Me too. A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I'm a this guy only eats like whole range foods, bro. He goes full organic, yeah. You bear the yeah. Mark, of course. I bet he has some really good hygiene too. Probably brushes his teeth with the eyelashes of his victims. You think he flosses? Flossing is too hard for him. Do you see those sausagey like fingers? He possibly can't get them into the small mouth. Yeah, maybe he just grabs a piece of his victim and uses it to floss. <laughs> the whole halfling goes in between his tooth. <laughs> He's that big. <laughs> yeah, let's point out the fact that he also doesn't have a brand. Both goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. He just wants him. <laughs> it's basically the old version of Silence Wench. Yo, I can make them serve me? Make me an offer. Tempt me. Don't seduce him. He said tempt me, not seduce me. I do have good persuasion. Tempt him with the warrior aspect. Flesh of the fallen. So I'm gonna smite the evil and he will eat their corpses. That's a good deal. Oh. 20. Is it time to put my skills to the test? Do you think this is important? Should I quick save it? If the gods truly, truly favor you, you will pass without quick save. 
Oh my god. I cleaned that 20. Something is going on today. I have RNG got on my side the whole session. I'm just, I'm just amazed. It's all skill, baby. Take my bone home. Use it when the need arises. Ogre kill everyone around. Then Ogre eats them. Well spoken. That's a mood. <laughs> well spoken. <laughs> I don't know what's so charming about him, but I like him. Definitely like top five characters so far. Oh, so we can summon them? Yeah. We should probably use it. Uh, there's a particular druid growth uh, that comes to mind. I'm just gonna ponder my existence here. I think this is about your wife. My wife. Dear Fiora, happy birthday. Oh, it's not Fiora, it's Flora. This red girl is called Fiona, I know. Yeah, I was gonna tell you it's a one letter off, but you just ruined everything, bro. Damn. I'm not pondering life right now. I'm pondering if I should stay in your party after that disappointment. Even if I disappointed you multiple times, we would still not be even. You're probably the worst son I could have imagined. And that will Say take that again. Say that again, motherfucker. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching, make sure to check out one of my videos on the screen right now. And a huge thank you to our channel supporters who keep this channel alive. Till next time, love you all. Peace. Bye.